Welcome to episode 156 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. Check out this RC dragster built by our friend Kevin Jowett. Not only can this guy build six scale cars, but it looks like he can build in some performance too. Test flown here by its 75-year-old designer, the Gen H4 lays claim to the title of world's smallest man-carrying helicopter. This 165-pound aircraft is powered by four twin-cylinder gas engines, similar to those used in giant-scale RC airplanes. Its counter-rotating blades and yoke provide all the control movement. What do you think? Would you strap one of these machines on to fly? Leave us a post on our Facebook page and let us know your thoughts. This past weekend I spent some time in Charlotte, North Carolina for rounds one and two of the Traxxas Torque Series. And the track was actually built inside the dirt oval at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It was a really sweet track with a lot of speed and some cool technical sections. For a full lineup of who won, go to rccaraction.com. Now, we're going to discuss an extreme 3D maneuver called the Harrier Rolling Climbing Spiral. This is a maneuver that takes into consideration that you are already familiar with performing a hover. Basically, the airplane starts the maneuver in a hovering attitude. Make sure you're on your 3D flight mode and apply aileron in one direction, in this case rolling to the left, and then you'll have to use rudder and elevator input to start and continue the airplane in a spiral climbing fashion. Basically, throughout this segment, you'll have to use elevator input. So for example, here, we're using up elevator input, down elevator input, and we'll also have to add in rudder input to keep the airplane in a very tight 
360 degree spiral. Once the airplane stabilizes in that manner, you will have to increase throttle to maximum power and you'll have to vary the amount of elevator and rudder that you use. Basically, if you use too much input, the airplane will not climb an altitude. So you have to ease off on the rudder input and elevator input to get the nose of the aircraft sitting positive so we can actually start the climb. To exit, simply neutralize inputs, increase power, and push to upright level flight. Align the airplane so it's parallel to the runway and flip to your 3D rates. Perform 3D maneuver called the wall just by pulling hard up elevator input. Now we're applying left aileron and changing the amount of elevator and rudder input as needed to keep the nose of the airplane spiraling upwards. Make sure you're using your maximum throttle setting. When ready to exit, simply neutralize inputs while the airplane is pointed vertical and push out to upright level exit. This week's Deal of the Week on AirAceStore.com is the Painting and Detailing RC Bodies book, regularly priced at $24.95. As the Deal of the Week, it's half off and now available for $12.48. Stay tuned, Deals of the Week will run from Friday to Friday when a new deal will be unveiled. RCX, the world's biggest RC show, is heading to Long Beach, California this weekend. If you are into RC, this is the place to be on April 28th and 29th. Get $5 off the ticket price when you buy online at rcx.com or when you purchase a ticket at your local Hobby People store. We can't wait to see you all there. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the June issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time.